All right, what's going on, guys? So, uh, I'm not using my microphone today. I am at Universal. Uh, surprise, uh, we, we are down here in Orlando, and uh, we are going to do a little tour today. I wanted to kind of show you where everything's going to be for HHN. So, let's get started right here. You can see we're right here next to the Hello Kitty store, and this is always normally an entrance, and uh, this will be Halloween 4 this year. So this little area right over here in this area, you know, where they use the uh, second Shrek theater, that will be Halloween 4. So, pretty cool. And then if you come over here and keep going over, uh, you got this, this sadness over here. We're not going to even talk about that. But um, you can see this is going to be the, I think it's Revenge of Chucky. Is that the name of it? But this will be the Chucky Scare Zone. You can see they got the good little good guys logos. So, pretty cool. And this is going to be... I think it's going to be Chucky and a bunch of like, kind of, they're going to bring back a bunch of toys and whatnot. So, it ought to be pretty interesting. And uh, they actually do have like a little stage over here. So, I am imagining we're going to see, we're going to get to see like a puppet, which will be pretty neat. So, that'll be pretty interesting. Anyways, we're going to move on back over here to the Twisted Tradition Scare Zone. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what else we got going on over there. Alright, let's move on. All right, you can see right in front of me, we got the entrance here to Twisted Traditions. It is over here, if you're coming down the uh, Hollywood Main Street there, Hollywood Boulevard. Um, yeah, they got the township of Cary, which is located inside the Central Park area of the park. And you can see they got all kinds of goodness going on here. But this will be... Um, uh, it's really going to be kind of similar because of all the, uh, you can see all the jack-o'-lanterns that they got in the trees and stuff. I think it's going to be very similar to what they have going on, or had going on last year with the trick or tree. You can see they got something covered up here. I think it's going to be a giant pumpkin because you can see, uh, you can see all the, the mess and whatnot coming down from under there. But yeah, they got, they got everything getting really nice looking. But yeah, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to have a very similar look to the, uh, the uh, trick-or-treat scare zone from last year. But this, like I said, this is Twisted Tradition. And um, yeah, Twisted Traditions. Pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and keep it rolling here. And then uh, if we head back this way, this is actually where two of the house entrances are going to be. And um, this is heading back in towards the Woody Woodpeckers, ugh, Woody Woodpeckers Kid Zone. And this is... Um, like I said, this is where two of the entrances will be. So let's walk back here. You can see over here, hopefully they'll have the, uh, I know a lot of people are looking forward to having the pizza fries for uh, Halloween Horror Nights again. That was a huge hit last year. So hopefully they have them again for everybody. Maybe this year I can actually try them. I didn't get to try them this, uh, this past event. But over here in the ET area, they're going to have the, um, I think it's going to be uh, Seeds of Extinction. No, it's going to be Trick or Treat. It's going to be the ET entrance. And then over on the other side, it's going to be the Seeds of Extinction. So that's pretty cool. So over in this direction, they're actually going to have the Seeds of Extinction. And then ET will house the Trick or Treat uh, queue line. So... Uh, I think it's going to be kind of similar to how it was last year where you, you're not going to really use the queue line of ET, but you'll go back in that area. And then, like I said, over this way, it'll be Seeds of Extinction. And um, I believe that uh, Trick or Treat will actually be exiting here, but I think Seeds of Extinction will be exiting on the other side over by Men in Black. So we'll, uh, we'll show that to you here in a second. Anyways, I think that is going to do it in this area. So let's move on over to the Men in Black area because there's a pretty – Pretty good cluster of houses over in that that little area over there. So let's walk over there. All right, guys. So we are over here now by the Men in Black entrance. This is the uh, gift shop that you exit out of to uh, when you get off Men in Black. Uh, this is where the uh, two houses are going to be. They're going to have Dead Exposure and Slaughter Cinema back here. So I think uh, Slaughter Cinema is going to be on that side. Dead exposure should entrance should be on this side. 
Uh, this is the interesting part though. Both of these houses will exit here and then Seeds of Extinction will also exit here. So there will be three houses exiting in the same area. Uh, that's the rumor anyways, or that's what I think I've, I've heard from other people. But this will be, uh, this will be the way you can go down there. And um, they did have two entrances here last year, but they only had two houses exiting, I believe. Uh, so this is going to be kind of interesting to see three houses exiting, same, uh, same location. Anyways, that is where this will be dead exposure and slaughter cinema entrances. And then if we head over this way uh, to the uh, where the old uh, Fear Factor Live building is, I'll show you there's a house. And then, of course, Academy of Villains will be also be back here. So I'll uh, meet you guys over there. All right, so we're a little bit further down here on the other side of Men in Black's entrance. And then uh, the tent that's going to be, uh, you know, housing the Blumhouse of Horrors, the second house that will be using that name. Um, yeah, this will be back here. Uh, this will be where you'll go into the uh, to walk back. Um, there is a tent that you can actually see. And uh, I might walk over there here in a second and see if we can see any facade of it. But this is the Fear Factor Live building over here. And, yeah, I know a lot of people are really sad about this. This is where Bill and Ted used to be, but this year it will be hosting the Academy of Villains show, Cyberpunk. So if you're into that, be sure to uh, get here early. But you can see there's no, there's no factoring today. But that was where Academy of Villains Cyberpunk will be. I am going to walk back this way, though, to see if we can maybe get a little peek and see, into the, uh, see if we can see if there's any facade going up for Blumhouse. Be right back with you guys. Uh, all right, guys, so sorry if people's heads are walking away. I'm trying to get a good angle here. But you can see the facade is up, and uh, that might be the extent of it this year. But you can see it there. That is, uh, That will be the horrors of Blumhouse. So, anyways, try to get you a good angle. You can kind of see as I zoom out where that is at. Anyways, let's keep on going. And uh, there will be a break because there isn't any, uh, there isn't any scare zones or haunted houses uh, from this area all the way through to San, the end of San Francisco because uh, there will be no scare zone at the exit of Fast and Furious like there normally is. So let's move on and we'll move on to the next houses. All right, guys, so we're down further down past uh, San Francisco. We're not getting into the streets of New York. You can see there's the Fast and Furious Supercharged entrance. And if you come down the diagonal line here, this will be the scare zone over here for Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which uh, I had the pleasure of re-watching that fully recently. And uh, the, the cheesiness of it and the corniness is just fantastic. Absolutely loved it. And uh, I'm happy for the scare zone to be here. You can see here, this is obviously going to be one of the cotton candy hangers. They got it all covered up right now, though. You can see they got the ice cream truck. They got the uh, they got the little logo here. So at the moment, I think that's all they actually have. And then over here, I think they actually do plan on using. Um, I think they're going to use some of the projectors for the uh, little Cinemax show. I think they're going to actually. They have a projection of the circus spaceship yeah the little uh, tent and i think they're actually going to have uh, a projection on the building i think right there they're actually going to have a projection so i'm really interested to see how the clowns are actually going to look i'm sure they're going to be pretty awesome they do seem to have a couple things over here covered up too on the other side of the little cotton candy hanger anyways going to be really cool now we're going to head on the other side over by the mummy and that's where the, uh, the new Vamp 85 scare zone will be. So let's head over there and uh, we'll see what that looks like. All right, guys, so we are on the other side over here by the, uh, by the mummy, excuse me. I tried to uh, say the wrong thing there. <laughs> but we are in the streets of uh, New York. And uh, this is the Vamp 85 scare zone. You can see over here, I meant to show you a better look at that. Excuse the, there's a little acapella thing going on over there. But you can see right here, they got the little, a little stage for the, uh, 
But this is Vamp 85. That's where this, this will be located. And then over here, they actually have a really cool setup for the ball drop, which every 30 minutes is supposed to ball drop and you know be midnight and go to 1985. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how the vampires react uh, when that's going on. That's supposed to be when everything goes crazy is when the ball drops. But you can see they got a really cool setup over here. So that ball drop is supposed to happen every 30 minutes. But you can see they got the, the whole stage set up there. That would be very cool. And then we're back to over here. We're back into getting to houses. So let's walk over here and I'll show you. There will be three houses right in this area. I'll show you where they're all going to be here. So over here on the right side, there's actually going to be the entrance to Poltergeist. So that is very cool. Uh, we're gonna, they're going to be right over here for Poltergeist. And then I believe Scary Tales will be right here in this building, the, the, uh, tri the Metropolis Tribune building here. Over here in this little doorway right here will probably be the entrance to the uh, to the uh, Scary Tales. Is actually, excuse me, I got distracted by Hollywood Rip Rod Rocket. But anyways, uh, Scary Tales will be over here. Poltergeist will be over here. And then if we walk down this way, more towards Jimmy Fallon, I think that they will have um, they will have the uh, Carnival Graveyard. Rust in Pieces will be over here on this side. So very cool. Really, uh, really looking forward to that one. I think uh, Carnival Graveyard is going to be awesome. So we're going to move up over here to the uh, lawn where they have the concerts and the stages, and that's where actually where Stranger Things will be. So let's move up there and we'll talk a little bit more about it. All right, so we are over here in front of the stage now. You can see the uh, rocket back there. But this will be the, uh, this right here, somewhere along this line here, will be the entrance to Stranger Things, which of course will probably be the biggest and the longest line houses um, out of all the houses here. So it probably will have the, the biggest crowds. So uh, this definitely will be the biggest queue, I believe, for the entire event. But somewhere along this line here, right in front of the stage, will be the entrance to Stranger Things. And then as we get um, further down over this way, we'll get into the next scare zone. So let's walk over there and I'll go ahead and cut it here so you guys don't have to watch me walk. All right, guys, so we are here. You can see the front entrance straight ahead. This is the harvest. This will be the scare zone that kind of has all the, um, you know, the kind of characters from all the different houses this year. We got Halloween 4. Seen Blumhouse over that way. So this will be the uh, kind of just general scare zone as you're coming in the entrance. The, most people will probably go this way. Of course, you can take a right and go over towards the other areas. But uh, the trick or treat, really cool poltergeist set up there. And then, like I said, I think the biggest name at this event will be Stranger Things uh, as far as, you know, popularity. And that is, they got the little bike there. So, that, that scare zone is called the Harvest. Give you a little overview there. I'm sure that we'll see more decorations get put in place as time goes on. But as it goes, that's all the, uh, that is all the houses, scare zones, and then the one show that's going on during the event. So. I'm gonna cut it here, and then I'll probably find a nice place to do the outro. All right, guys, like I said, that is gonna do it for the houses, scare zones, and the one show that will be happening this year. Uh, in, a, in, a, you know, in addition to that, they will have uh, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket will be open, The Mummy, Transformers, Escape from Green Gods, uh, Fast and Furious Supercharged and Men in Black. Those will all be open during the event. Everything else will be closed, however, if you're wanting to ride any rides. Those are the rides to be opening. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description. for. A, uh, I have a video of the full event overview that uh, goes more into detail on everything. I just wanted to make this quick video while I'm down here. So that way you guys can get an idea and have more of a video overview of the event before, I, uh, before the event starts. Because we are about a week out now. So, anyways, guys, <coughs> excuse me, that is going to do it. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, you can follow me on my Instagram at Daily Theme Park Photos. You can also follow me on Coaster Nerds on Facebook. We do all kinds of park coverage from the United States and the UK. 
So check us out on there if you want to keep up with news in the industry. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.